Hello, welcome to this video review on MathCAD Prime 2.0. Uh, first, I'll just point out the layout of this program. You have ribbons up here similar to Microsoft Office. They have a math ribbon, input, output, and so forth uh, that you can explore. Starting out with math here, um, let me show you a simple calculation with units. So I'll define a variable d by just clicking here in the graph area, graph paper area, D, and then shift colon, and I'll choose 5, and I'll put an M, and I'll click off. Notice that the M turns blue, so it's a unit, so it's meters. You can find more units up here under units. Um, I'll define another variable, T, to be 8 seconds. And velocity, I will define to be d divided by t. So equals, and MathCAD gives me the numerical answer with the units. I can delete these units and under something else, like miles per hour, and the number will automatically update to match the units. Functions. I'll define a function f of x. Um, to be sine of x plus cosine of x. And now I can evaluate the function I just defined at some value. So I'll evaluate at pi over 2. So I'll type p and then control g. It changes the constant pi over 2 equals 1. Notice that constants are green. That will always be the case. Um, now symbolic solving. I'll choose a classic example, the quadratic equation. So that's ax squared plus b times x plus c control equal zero. And now I'll go up to symbolics. I will use the symbolic evaluation and I will solve for x. Click off and there's the answer. Calculus. Um, you can go into operators and you'll find the calculus options. I'll choose to do a double integral. Um, let's do x plus y and choose some random limits of integration here. To 4 dx dy equals 5. And then do differentiation, d dx of x squared plus 2. And you don't press equals, you go up to symbolics and do symbolic evaluation. And there's the answer. Okay, moving on to statistics. Um, you can find your statistics functions under functions, statistics. And you see a, a long list here. Let me do standard deviation. Um, I'll just enter some values, data values, and press equals. And there's your standard deviation. Um, I'll do a normal probability example. I'll define A to be negative infinity. So I'll go to math, constants, infinity. Now just so it's green again. Um, B is going to be 1.25. And uh, mu, right here, this will be my mean, zero. Standard deviation, sigma, will be one. And uh, integral, limits will be a and b. Fraction, one over uh, square root. right here. Um, 2 times pi sigma. I'll have times e fraction in the exponent. Um, x minus mu. So go up to symbols. Mu this will be squared. Um, we 
have two two times sigma squared dx equals and there's the answer for a normal random variable uh, between these limits this is the probability um, plotting let me insert a plot so I'll go to plots insert plot xy plot um, down here this is your x-axis I'll just label it x with no units although you could define units and I'll put x for y-axis. So this this plots y equals x. I can add another trace right up here. Add trace x squared, and it adds that on for me. Y equals x squared, or y equals x cubed, and so forth and so on. If I want to change these values, I can do that on the axis, and it updates automatically. Um, I'll do a 3D plot. First I'll define a function of x and y um, to be actually um, define x squared plus y squared and now insert 3D plot and scroll down in the z-axis I'll put f of xy click off and it plots now I can uh, interact with this plot by rotating it or changing the axis values. Um, the last thing I wanted to discuss is solving differential equations with MathCAD. This is a first order ordinary differential equation with boundary conditions example from the help files in MathCAD in case you want to look at this example. You first define what your differential equation is, um, define your boundary conditions, your end parameter, and uh, you insert a solve block by going to math, solve block, something like this will appear. And you will, you, for some reason the labels here are overlapping. I don't know why that is. Um, I have boundary conditions, constraints, and I use the ODE solve function in the solver section. You get that by going to functions, solving, and ODE solve. And then you can plot your solution using the plots that I just went over. And it looks like this. And you can modify this to fit the graph better. I'll put a zero here. Click off. Enter. And there you have it. There's a lot I haven't gone over. Um, lots of other options, matrices, formatting. Um, document. This is very especially issue. interesting. The area button allows you to insert a collapsible area that hides certain calculations that you don't want to appear in a document that you print off. Um, so if you have any questions just comment on the video and uh, hopefully I or someone else can answer those questions for you. Um, and thank you for watching. I hope this helps you.